Jamie Conn. Is he hiding? Right, look at me. Now, Reese thought you were looking for someone to play passes with. And he would like to play passes with you? No. Well, if you don't want to play with Reese, maybe Reese can have the ball to himself. No, wait here. No, wait here. Now, I think football's better when there's two people. I don't think you should be laughing. I don't want to play with Reese. Well, Reese would like to play with you. And I we've only got a little bit of our playtime left. I'll tell you what we'll do, why don't the three of us play? No. And I'll pass it to you, you pass it to Jamie, and Jamie can pass it to me. And we can have a game of triangle instead of just football. Would you like to teach Mrs Gabraith how to kick the ball? No. Why not? No, 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 no. Now, why don't we go and play passes with the ball till the bell rings? No, 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 and you no, can no. tell you can tell me what colours of footballs we need for our room. Would you like to try that? No. Will we go and play with this? No, I don't want to play with this. No, play time's finished. No. Yes. No. It's time to go into class. No. Let's go. That's a daisy. No. Yep. No. He's stubborn and he refuses to do as he's told and he crawls about the floor and now developmentally he's going away back and he's behaving like a toddler. Now the way Jamie is behaving is not the right way. You're all behaving the right way. And Angela and Mrs Gobeath need you to help. You have to show Jamie the right way to behave. The biggest problem for him and for his teacher is he refuses to take part. He just stops out. Most recently he started leaving the classroom. Now, what does that mean, trying not to upset others? Really? Don't kick them, don't hurt them. How else might we upset people? Yes, Celine. Don't tell them that people are here. Uh-huh. Now we've already had today, we had two drama students making up a story. Michelle? So, two ribbons. David, just there. David, your hand was up. What would you like to ask? I know Yes, bro. I want to David, you've been brilliant. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. No, no, no. No, you're not running away, Jamie, because it's not safe to run away. You're staying here till I find out what Jordan's going to do, and then we'll find a place that you can go where you'll be safe. And you can take some colouring with you and some of our nice crayons, OK? We'll be going to look at the pictures and see. Mum will go pick one so you can colour, and we'll get the good crayons from our room, will we? One, let's go. Up a daisy. One, help me up, help me up, I'm stuck, I'm very old. You'll need to help me up, I'm stuck. Help me up, help me up. Oh, oh, right, this way to the room. Let's go look at the pictures. Let's go look at the pictures. Stand up. Stand up for me. Well, we'll just have to sit here and everybody who comes past will say, why is Jamie lying on the floor? Has he fallen over? Can he not get up? And I'll have to say, you'll need to step over him. Because he's like a big lump lying in the middle of the corridor. What are you going to do if somebody goes like this? Boom. Oh, sorry, I thought it was a rug. What will you do then? No, we're not running away. Well, this is what we can do. We can go and get pictures from the colouring box because you did a very good picture this morning. It was beautiful. We can go and do that. Right, let's go then. Give me your hand and we'll go and have a look at my special colouring book. Give me your hand, I'll pull you up. One. Oh. Two. Oh. Let's go. I was mucking about and just carrying on and talking to your mass and language and all that stuff. I was falling behind and getting into trouble. They were just hit people and I don't mean it. I think chairs of it and break stuff and stuff like that. 
Hey, hey, the teachers. First off, shout out the teachers, push the teachers. I used to go about punching walls and doors. Yeah, I had a quite bad temper. Bad. Jason, what we're going to do now is what we do first thing in the morning is we go over to the gym and we do something called basic moves. Is okay. it going to be anybody else just us? It's going to be a class there and some other boys and girls and you can see how you get on with it. You're not going to be shy, are you? Jason's just joined us from another school. This is his first day today. Uh, he was very anxious, very apprehensive about coming. It's the other children that you've met. They were asking for you yesterday. Yeah, yeah I know. They were them. saying, they were saying, where's Jason? Where's Jason? So they want to see you. So sure, do you I want to go over and see them? And then you, if you're if you're I too don't, shy, don't you, are you listening? If you're too shy, you can come back. Okay. Mum will go first. Could you get Jake and we'll be first in. Come we'll be first in. Sure. Roll on, but it takes a wee minute to heat up. Look at that. And it gets brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter when it's all lit up. We can hide and come back and Oh, wow! You're good at gym. Oh, here we are. Busy. Do you want to maybe sit with them? <gasps> Jason had been in several other schools before he arrived in Wellshot and had a bit of a chaotic time with his education. His behaviour in some of the schools was pretty wild to say the least. They found him difficult to manage. He wasn't able to socialise with the rest of his classmates, wasn't able to go out to the playground and even in the classroom, he had to be excluded. So he has not been used to interacting with other children. So we thought the nurture class would be an environment for him where there's only a small number of children and he gets a chance to interact in a more positive way. Jason! Jason, how we stop at the door, please? Right, you're going to be coming sitting with me today. Here we go. That's you. Five. What number comes after five? No, not seven. That's yours. So you're finished it? It's a k kettle, so you put a circle round the k. So you put a circle round the k. This is a m mouth. Right. Have you finished that page yet? Where are you? What's this, Jason? Is that a question mark? Oh, 
Uh -huh. Come on then. Come on then. You're usually very fast at this. Come on. What sound did we say it was? Okay. You'll sit in your bottom. No. Why have you not got a bottom? <laughs> you lost your bottom. Excuse me, you are very nearly finished that page and then you can go and choose to play. All right. I think the nurture environment might be one that Jason really responds to. It's set up slightly different from a normal classroom. It's meant to be a link between home and school for children who are not emotionally ready for the strict boundaries of school. They have this safe environment to act out some of their issues, but under control. This is a quick question mark, isn't it? So put the circle around the quick. It's a question mark. Hello. Oh, you nearly finished? Oh, and Dylan's nearly finished. <gasps> Who's going to be finished so I can put the computer on? I wonder. Oh, is it going to be you, Dean? We'll soon find out. All in all, he was containable and fine for a first morning, but I, I foresee quite a few problems ahead. It really annoys me because all I hear is the teacher talking, talking, then shouting, then talking, then shouting, and I'm sitting there. I just don't like school. I don't like any type of school. Too many people, and I can't, I can't even really handle too many people. It's just just gets annoying. Go away. There was a man who lived in the moon, who lived in the moon. Fuck off, you fucking idiot. What do you want to be when you get older, Jordan? Get fucking shot. Who just done that? You day, man. She's a big girl, and she's strong, <laughs> and she's quite forceful. So if you're hurried, she's quite intimidating. She is. That's explaining how to do it. I know, I've just done it all already. Oh. 
All right, so you know what you're doing? Come on, this bit. You need to make a pair. Yeah, that's right. Five times nine, and then the answer will be... Well, where is, what is it you do again? What's five times nine? Five nines are... Fifty-four? One before fifty. Oh, forty-four. Forty-six. Forty-four, forty-three, forty-two, forty-one, forty-five. Forty-five. Remember your five times table goes up in five. Three times three is? Three times nine. Nine. So nine? Nine. 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 Show me the one with nine in it. Nine. Nine colour those two the same. Okay. Ah, right. Any problems? Nah, 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 sweet or sugar or kids, man. Sweet or sugar or kids, man. Bass is not twelve. Bass is not twelve. twelve. Is that one down there a 12? She'd been diagnosed early on as having ADHD and was being given Ritalin to address this and from what we could see in school it wasn't having any great effect on her behaviour. She was under tables, over tables, shouting at people, shouting at teachers, refusing to do what she was told, not getting on with classmates, being aggressive. After the holiday, we started her off with a new teacher who had a very strong personality, very outgoing, and they seemed to go on really, really well. We didn't have any major problems. And then, unfortunately, the teacher was very, very ill and had to stay off for a long period of time. She went away, something was around me, and she had to go to the hospital or something. And then Miss Miller teaches us. Is that one or twelve? And that was when it really kicked off, as we put it, that's a technical term. <laughs> she just um, didn't cope with that at all. Because it was a new teacher, the wasn't behaved right, good. What do you mean? Shouting out, booty care. There were a few days when she was so out of control that we had to ask her mum to come and get her and take her home. Then we decided maybe we should step in. So we brought her down here into the nurture room. And I think the good thing about this room for Jordan is she knows the rules, she knows the firm, she knows we're not going to shout and get angry, but we are going to deal with it and she's going to have to face the consequences of her actions and take some responsibility. Yes or no? OK, up you go then. Good boy. Wait a minute, Alva. That's us all settled. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine children. And one, two, three adults. Jordan, how many all together? Nine and three. Twelve all together. And let me see, somebody's tired, I think, today. Let me see you, Jordan. We a bit tired today. Right, we'll have a wee talk later on. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So did you get into any trouble at all at last? Did you shout out? Did you? When? We will, we will always let Did you shout out again? Why did you do that? Because you've been great in here today, haven't you? Mm -hmm. well, what, what have your class got this afternoon, can you remember? She's got this, I don't know, this defence mechanism that goes up. I don't know, I think it, it stems from a low self-esteem or an insecurity. I don't know, and I don't know why, and I don't know where it's come from. Are you tired, honey pie? You sit there till you're ready to come, OK? And when you're ready to come, we'll find something to do, OK? But I know that when she first meets people, she's very suspicious. She's not good at trusting strangers. It takes a long time to win her trust. Do she doesn't believe she's good at anything. Let me know when you're ready. I tell you what you could do. Do you fancy doing the dishes with Angela? Oh, you lazy monkey. So you'll eat the breakfast, but you won't do the dishes. 
I'll come back in a minute. You have a think. I think she's very pretty. Jordan doesn't. Jordan doesn't have anything good to say about herself. The way I see it is there's a really nice girl in there. I've seen her, I've met her. <laughs> but she doesn't let many people meet that. She likes to keep it hard. She likes to keep people at a distance. And I don't know why. Playtime. P4 had an early playtime today. So okay. he sings in him, please. Yeah, just for a wee minute. Okay. Jason is in the nurture class for the majority of the day. He displays quite aggressive behaviour. He finds it very difficult to take direction or follow any instructions. He really has no interest in learning. He doesn't seem to have much structure in, in his behaviour. That's our listening time. Then we're going to come back and do our language work, our phonics. Then, if we get time, we have a wee story at the end, and then it's lunchtime. And then your mum will be for you, okay? I want to do something quick. Make it easy to get killed. Make it easy dead, and Ray Mysterio, Ray, Ray Mysterio kill him. Because it's just fake. I don't want to hear it's fake. I don't like to hear stories about that. Sometimes when they're playing, the, the play is not what we would call nice play and you have to just stand back and let them act out how they're feeling make sure you step in when it's safe interact positively with them but not judge them or not say don't do that when they're burying dead bodies in the sand or they're putting the stuffed toys in the oven just to stand back and let them get all that out because who's to say what they've seen or heard before they've even come to school that morning hey we've just found a dead body to phone the police. They said he was an angry boy for what reason I don't know, you know what I mean? My son, Jason, he's been through a lot in his life, right? Alright, I'm patting on all because I was an alcoholic at one time. But I, I did my time in my rehab and I, I, I fought to get my children back myself, not for my family or nobody. And that rehab was a good thing for me to get my boys back, you know what I mean? For being I want parent family, I think I do no bad. They get their meals, they get everything. If I've, if I've got any money, they'll get whatever I get, I give them, you know what I mean? They're always in school and thing and whatever, so. It's just for me, it needs a wee bit of help because of my life, you know what I mean? I need to get my life sorted out. I just want to, to get a house and that's that. I'm trying and get a new fresh start with the boys and just get my life back on track again, that's all I want. Me kids locked in jail and they had a prison. Hey, I mean you get me out of here quick and smart. No! He ran over. 
for him, he died. No, he's not, he's in the shop. Hey, get in jail! You're being a bad boy. No, I'm not! I'm get me out of here! Uh, if I need to bolt this door down, I'll do it. Yeah. Angela's working very hard this morning, is it? She left you, Jenny. Yeah, I do. Do you want to cut, James? Lovely manners, James, remembering to say please and thank you. Do you want yours cut, honey? No? Now, let's look at our rules, please. Good looking. Jamie, can you look at the rules? Now, at the top, with Big Ginger, and he says, we have good table manners. Now, remember... We've got our stickers to get if we have our good table manners. Now, I don't think it says in our good manners, put cheese all over your face, does it? Do you think that's what you're saying? They have to make one if they want. No, I don't think we're going to make one that says put cheese all over your face. I don't think. Make one that says put cheese over your face. But we know not to put cheese over our face. You're the only one who did it. So don't do it anymore. I like it. Don't do it anymore. Spend Rosie. No. In your mouth. Go. Oh, like it when he's like it, he's putting that right up. Yes. Instead of just that, he's just doing that in his face. Maybe his tongue's not long enough to reach it all. What do you think? No, I don't think so. I think he just has to get it in. I think he's got quite a long tongue, do you? You sure can. You so nice. Hey, you didn't try that before. I have. We need to do our stickers. Yes. Are we ready? Mm -hmm. And we'll need to be quick. Here we go. Now, oh, here we are. They were hiding. Okay. Let's think about who had good table manners today. What about James Trotter today? He moved chair. Oh dear, so he did. Got cheese all over his uh -huh. face. He's not finished his toast. toast. Well, not today. I don't think you've remembered your manners today, James. The only one now, Jordan's done very well. She's been really sensible and she noticed that Damien was stamping. And she didn't make a big fuss, mm -hmm. she just said Damien and he stopped. Uh -huh. So that was great. Jordan, what colour would you? Orange. <laughs> Jamie? Jamie, look at me. Some children find this room a very difficult place to cope with. Jamie, for example, and I'm sure if we were to ask Jamie, he wouldn't say the nurture room was the easy option. I'm sure before we got him in here, when he just sat in class and didn't interact very much and never got involved in anything, that was probably easier for Jamie. Are you not going to join in with the bunny song? Than no. having to deal with these two adults who hold you accountable for what you've done. And yeah, you can throw a temper tantrum, but we're still here and we're still being patient and we're still being firm and we're still being consistent. And this is what's going to happen. He finds that very difficult to deal with. Now then, I have stickers to give people to say thank you. Jamie can't have one. Oh, that's sad. Callum can have a sticker and look what's happened, oh. Callum McGregor. Finish. Oh, Finish. well done. I am so proud that Maybe you're such a kind me. boy. Just you ignore him, he's trying to annoy you, so you don't let him, okay? Do you right. How many do you need, Alvaris? You need seven stickers. And Jordan, two. I'll tell you, needs four. Oh. Chloe, you need 18. Right, we're waiting. These boys want their prize. We've got a snap game. That was me. Playing cards. The frisbee. Right, what are you going to have, Callum? You come to see what there is, Jamie? You have to stay there. It's only the boys who get a prize, remember. What have you picked? The bubbles. Well done. Jamie, would you like to put the prizes back in the box for me? Put it in, please, Jamie. We're going to lunch, boys. Jamie, the chicken. Right, Jamie, you come with me. Put it in, please. 
Right, right, let's go, Jamie. We'll put it in the cupboard. Right, Excuse me, everyone. When he first came in here, nothing was happening. He was sitting very quietly, and he really wasn't putting a foot wrong. But once he realised that the boundaries were very firm, he started to kick against them. And he finds it very, that aspect of the nurture room very difficult. Right, everyone look this way. Now we're going to say bye. Thank you for being my friend, Angela. Thank you for being my friend, Ovaris. Thank you for being my friend. Thank you for being my friend. Done. Look at Jordan now, make good eye contact. Thank you for being my friend. Give me that, please. No, you can't have these now. Check out. Check out. Check out. In a minute, sweetheart. I'll do it, you. Right, dear. Thank you for being my friend, Jordan. Well done. Right, okay, you don't have to do it. Just leave him be. Callum, would you please go get your jacket for me? Damien, go and get your jacket, please. Go and get your jacket. James, could you go please and get your jacket? James on Jordan's knee, please. Andrew, sit on Angie's knee. In fact, Andrew, would you please go and put the art corner lights off for me? Don't do that, don't like You could ignore it and let that behaviour carry on, but then you have problems in the upper school when the children become bigger then what you're looking at is exclusion or suspension. And that, in my own personal opinion, doesn't solve the problem. You can suspend a child and put them out of school for three days or two weeks or whatever, and they come back. The problem's not been addressed. It's not been solved. So it's going to happen again. I'll have the blue one, I think. Oh, see if you can untangle that. No, this, these two, Jamie. Yeah, very gently because they'll break if you're too rough. Okay, you no looking. Right, put your fishing rod in. You better try and catch another one before they all swim away. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> right, okay, here we go. Oh, oh, I feel something. Oh, it got away. You try. There's only one left. Can you catch him? <gasps> well done. So how many have you got? I'll hold your rod for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And how many have I got? One, two, three, four, five. So who's got more, you or me? me? How many more have you got, do you know? How many extra ones have you got? Two. You've got two more than me. Put them back in your line. Right, jacket, and I'll get mine. We'll see who gets it first, you or me. I'll get mine out of the cupboard. <laughs> you get yours from there. Oh, meeting you in the middle. Who won? Who me. won? No walk with me, please. No walk properly. Now let's count these stairs. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five. Right. Six. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Eight. Up about eighteen. Nineteen. 20, 21 stairs. Good counting. Well, it's a place that mostly calms you down. It helps you and it gives you more ability. Is that it? It's just different. God made the room. So. Some of the work could help in support, support children with anger and issues. Yeah, and how to just be nice to each other. Is it different to your big class? Yeah. How is it different? Because the builders make it different.
And up, right up, and, and down, do them again. And up, and stop. Two lines. Well done. Sure. But they'd go Remember down. hold the book you still with your other hand? I think that's why you're I'm going to do something. It's moving about, isn't it? I'm going to do something. Oh, oh who is this? Kicking, king. Kicking, king. Let me see, Dan, I'll show you how to look at this. Down, and then no, and then you go in right. and out. No resent. Now try kicking king. We shouldn't have to ignore Jordan. Jordan, you're the biggest here. You should be showing everyone else how to behave. He keeps making us ill, but well, you just ignore it, please, Callum, because you're working no very, very hard. No money. Very hard, Callum. You're going to have to stop, and I'm Miss. going to have to get you to leave the table. Smelliest. You're the smelliest. Right, try this one. Oh. Nobody is. You just ignore it. Here we go. You're doing very, very well. Hey. Well, that's not bad at Smelly all. Bum. Right, I want you to come with me till your work is finished, please. Am I on that? Aha, uh -huh. come over to the other table. Let's go. Because you're putting everybody off, and you're putting yourself off. Let's go. Come on. Clever girl, let's get. Right, Jordan's not going to move, so okay. we'll solve that problem. Everybody, stop what you're doing. And I want you to lift your work, and we'll come over here. And you're all moving so sensibly, too. You sit there. Thank you. Callum, you sit down. You've done very well. Is it much better anyway, Damien? Good. I'll leave you your rubber, Jordan, because you'll need that. I'll get a different one. Rectangles. Come and I'll help. Hurry up. Bring me the book so I can read what you've to do. Come, good girl. Excellent. Now look. You can match and colour. He didn't name all those, did he? Fantastic. Do that one first. We'll worry about the next one next. At first, she wasn't very happy because obviously she was older. She wanted to be with her own class. She didn't want to be down here with all the cuddly toys and things. And she was a bit huffy when she first came down. Now, Mr. MacDonald, are you ready to be new class? <laughs> Can we see everybody? Wait a minute. Who's looking at Mr. MacDonald and Mr. MacDonald looking at you. And we're going to say, good morning, Mr. MacDonald. Good morning, Mr. Mr. MacDonald. Alvarez did it very well. Are you ready, you Mr. MacDonald? shy. I think he might be a bit mm -hmm. shy, but that's all right. Mrs. Gobraith will help him, so he doesn't have to be too shy. And he's done it before, and he's done it very well. Right, everyone. One, two, two three. Two, two, today is Monday and Snow. And one more. Today is Monday and Snow. Give James a clap. Woo! But she did start to make progress and we started to see her. She just opened up. She just became a different girl. She, um, she started to smile and laugh and play and talk to people and she made eye contact. It was lovely to see, it was really rewarding for us because obviously we pinpointed Jordan correctly and given her what she needed. I'm hoping that she'll go into class and settle and that maybe just once a week or so she could come down and say hello for a while and that'll be enough support but we won't know till we get her back in her own class. <laughs>
Can you dig it right? Right under the milk. See if it's down at the bottom. Can I help? You need to be careful with the sand. The sand's oh. dead quick. So you need to keep it. Right, go right now. Well, that was good teamwork. Well done. We're working look at together. It, um, look at, look oh. at that. You want to go and dry your hands? Make it, make it. There's, there's people in the shops and they're flooding. Help us! We're flooding! We're flooding! We're flooding! Get it down! We're flooding! Help us! Make it somebody died. Look, he died. I died, I died, I died. Let me in, let me in. I'm dying too! Get us out of here! We're all dying! Help! There's somebody still in here! Let's get out! Make it there was somebody dead because he sank too, too much. Because Jason has been in isolation for almost a year of his schooling, he found it difficult to interact with the other children. That was his group. Would you like to go up and visit the class today, can you, Jason? Can you come down here? Well, you're going at lunchtime, so it's not time for them to come down here. But if you want to go and visit them, you can go and visit them if you feel you're ready. Okay, how do you think you feel? Hmm? Not okay. Not okay about that yet. That's okay. Jason, you have a couple of fun with us? Just now, Jason, see you Thank you, I'm okay. Cool. Jason, I heard Miss White asking you to come out there. You're not fine. I know you're fine. You have to do your work though. Try open the computer and you can get to play. Jason, over first time, please. Come on. All the wee ones are doing their work. Come on. Jason, come on. We can read it from the beginning. Miss White's asking you. I don't want to do it. Because I'm not doing it anymore. Because I can't start it for the game. What is it you're stuck with? Nothing what bit's I, can't, trouble? I don't want to do it again. I'll, I'll just have to start again. I don't want it for that. Jason! Right, Jason, come on. Come on. So you do what you're told first time. So come on. We've had plenty of time to play, and when you finish this, you can play again. Sleeping? It's just had lots of good food. It's Jason's turn. When these children are taken away from the mainstream class, the mainstream class can function properly and the, without interruptions, without the time being spent on these particular children. These particular children benefit from coming to the nurture class because they get the attention that they need.
I'm too tired to do this tonight. For it, as ear. Jordan was not getting on well with the other children in the class, most especially the girls. The girls were quite intimidated by her. So were the boys, but mostly the girls. And we had we kind of looked at Jordan and thought, what what is the big a big problem in here for her? And we thought she doesn't have any friends. Not the way that children have where they've got their best pal or there's a wee group they hang about with. And we thought that the reason for that was probably because she was completely unpredictable and the children were afraid of how she was going to react if they happened to bump into her or if they said the wrong thing. So we thought, how are we going to do this? We thought, we'll get the girls down into this room where it's nice and relaxed, and where she would feel safe, but so would they. And so that hopefully the girls in the class would begin to see a kind of inkling of the Jordan that we know, this nice girl who's very kind and has a really good heart and likes people, but for some reason doesn't like to show that side of herself. No. I'm going to embarrass Jordan now, I think. Because when you're in this room, you get stickers. And it's not for work. Because in this room, work's important, but more importantly, we learn about how to treat other people, how to be kind, how to say sorry, how to admit if you're in the wrong, how to apologise if you are in the wrong and apologise properly, how to show that you're a good listener by looking at the person who's speaking, and every time you do one of these things and lots of other different things, then you get a sticker. So they're not for good work, which actually makes them harder to get. And, and Jordan chart. has filled her chart. Now, I don't know if Jordan's going to pick something in front of you all, or if she just knows what's in the box now, but I would really like it if she did, because I think it's good for you all to know that the Jordan we have in here works really hard at her manners being kind, like I told you last week, she is fantastic with the younger children. She's very patient, she's very helpful, and she's earned those 20 stickers. She didn't get them for nothing. And I think it'd be really nice for Jordan if all the people in her class and some of her friends are here and so are getting a prize, because I think she deserves it. Would you like to see her pick something? Yes. Do you think you could? Yes? She can pass. No, it's not often you see that, is it? Oh. How many of you get embarrassed when people point you out and make you do something? Hands up if you get embarrassed. Mm -hmm. So, Jordan's just the same as the rest of you. She gets embarrassed by the same things. Right? So she's not so different from you at all. Now, are you going to pick something? Oh, oh. let me see it. Is it the dog one? So it's a little joke. Give her a clap. She did well done. well done. And I'm really proud of her because even though she's embarrassed, she picked something. And a few weeks ago, 
she wouldn't have behaved no. like this. She'd been away in a bad temper, shouting, mm -hmm. and been really angry. So I'm really proud of her that she's managed to do that in front of all of you. Now we come to the hard one. Jamie coming up the stairs. Wait till I think. He walked beside me, uh -huh. but he took my hand. I didn't have to take his. Okay. He took mine. It wasn't because he was doing anything. And he came up the stairs one at a time. And he was chatting quietly. Mm -hmm. I think he deserves one. <laughs> Go put a soldier point up. Well done. And I'll get the soldiers out of the cupboard. Well done. Right. Feel about and see if you can find one that you want. You picked one? Okay. What colour have you got? Green. A green one. I think he does so well. Oh, well, that'll have to be next time then. What is that one, sir? I've not got my glasses on, Jamie. I don't have a clue what it says. There, it's there. China. So that soldier was made in China, far, far away from us, and came all the way here, and you won him with your soldier points. Put him in your basket now. A lot of the children who come to us have got learned strategies of behaviour that so far have worked for them. Clever boy, go. Right, well done you. If we can get them young and break that cycle of behaviour so that they can go back into class happier, then that's when they're going to get all they should get out of their time in school. That's when they're going to learn. This boy took all the months of the year and he put them in the right order. Do you remember? Do you remember? Thank you, Damien. So let's see if he can read a couple, not all of them. Jamie, what do you think that one says? March. And he's right, it says March. Give him a big clap. What good reading. You ready for two more? Will you do two more? You ready? What's that one? And he's right. Give him a big clap. Fantastic reading. One, I need to get a hard one. I need to catch him out. Let's see if I can catch him out. You ready for a hard one? You ready for a hard one? February. February, look at that. Big clap. He was right. Well done. On your table, two together. Okay, guys, come on. Close your eyes. Good idea, Lauren. Okay, Lauren and Jamie. Can you take that back to your table and try and put it back together? It's hard to set it. What do we need to do? I know that. Oh, very bit hard. No, watch this, making this part. I can go at the top. Oh, yeah. Would you mean that? No, that means that needs to go that kind of way. That's that. No, I don't know that bit. Oh, do you mean that bit? We're still getting wee moods, but not for the same length of time at all. And he's calmer. A brontosaurus. I think I might have to bring in a brontosaurus to sit on top of you three in the classroom. No, oh, mm. no, not a fan. No, not fly. You want not fly. You fly. Pterodactyl. I think that dogs could be better. Well, I don't know. Do you think Mr. Flanagan would say, "I hope it doesn't eat them," or do you think he would say, "I hope it does"? Yeah, I hope it does. Yeah, I think you might be right. Okay, Jamie, I want you to put the lights on. One to Callum McGregor. Well done, Callum. One for yourself, Jamie. You're doing a really good job. Oh, 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 no. Two prizes from the prize box. Oh, oh, right. Now, you three sit back a little bit because there's lots to choose from. And we don't grab. You ready? 
So this is for good manners, no big huffs, listening to other people, even when you feel angry, not hitting, doing good tidying up, and you deserve a big thank you from the box. Now let's see what we've got. We've got a soldier hat. We've got a frisbee. Oh, we've got oh, suction flyers, Angela. Oh. We, oh, this is fantastic. We've got Marvin's mini magic tricks. Oh, a fantastic car. It's a fire officer's car. Now let's have a think, have a wee look at what's there. Do you know what you want, Jamie? <laughs> oh, you see, when you see all these things, it makes it very hard to choose your reward for doing everything you're asked to do and for thinking about other people and not losing your temper and tidying up really well. My goodness, it takes a lot of thought to get a prize for that. You ready, Jamie? Yes, but no. Yes, but no. <laughs> yes, but no. Oh my goodness, it's so quiet. Now all of you look at the prizes and you think about what you would like to get. Oh, Jonathan's just whispered in my ear. I bet he picks the magic tricks. Right, James McDonald, do you know what you would like? Oh, it's Alvaris. That was very honest of you. Thank you. Sorry, Alvaris. Which would you like, Alvaris? I think it a bit changed me a little. It made me work faster. Ignore people trying to distract me and everything. They tell you to go to the cab places, like take deep breaths and go and sit on the couch and count to ten. And then when you're ready, go up and say that on camera and all that. We feel we've made really good progress with Jason, considering in his previous school he wasn't even allowed out in the playground to play with the children. Shows a huge step forward. I felt he was ready to start lining up, which he did. Then after that we decided he would spend more time in the classroom and he joined his class. Five seconds to stop saying that. Thank you. We'll do these, and I've got two more to do with me, and then we go to the computer. In fact, there'll be one more. Are you going to do that again? No, you won't. You'll be going for your lunch by after the computer because you've worked hard enough. You'll be going for your lunch. 
these two here after we've done that one, we'll do that and we go to computer, okay? So that's your target, so let's do that kicking, okay, you said, remember? That's it, oh that's beautiful, that is wonderful, isn't it? You always just need it right in, yes? It is neat, right? Just go out the kit, see which one comes next. Have a look, well, let's follow along, let's go along, let's see which one comes first. Is it the tip? No, it's that one. Right then, you put that one. See? I thought you said you couldn't do this. <laughs> right, find me fit. Photos or eight. Two, two, three, two. Add one. Right, so B, what we'll the six remainder. Eight, twelve, sixteen. No one in your hands. Twenty, twenty-four, six. Which one are you on D? I. Good. Right, you can do this one, and then you can take it down and show Mrs. Gilbert. Thirty divided by one, two, three, four, five, six. Right, it divided by ten. Take them. What's twelve or eight? Flies by, doesn't it? When you're having fun. Having fun doing what? Thanks. Don't forget to eat. See what's being. How did you get on? Oh. Uh, no, right. let me see. On your line, Damien, make sure it's right on the line. Did you get what? Line. Oh one. my goodness, look at that. that, top bit, that was no, the bottom bit. Oh, it's really, really tidy too. Yes. Just that bit. Now, look at me. Look at me. Was that as hard as you thought it was going to be? Look at me when I'm speaking to you. Get up to do maths for half an hour. Right? Well done. I'm really proud of you. And did you do your work? You didn't cause any bother. Did you listen to Miss Miller? Good girl. I'm really, really proud of you. I think you've done very, very well. Okay, good girl. Well done. Off you go. Teachers just now have enough to do without having parents who are negative in their approach. And you don't get many of them, but you do get some. And I think we have to work as a team and realise we're a partnership and that teachers and parents are there in the best interest of the child. We have to work together. I think that's really, really important. So did you get a look at it? Uh-huh. Right. And what did you think when you I saw it? Jordan's wasn't... It's not too bad. Mm -hmm. but uh -huh. Apparently, some of the ones that I mean she has. She's had before. Well, she manages the whole day in class, which is something before that was unheard of. She's beginning to be accepted by the children that she's in school with all the time, which is a huge step for her. Okay, and we see that Jordan's happier, and academically, she's beginning now to make a lot of progress because I'm sure you know she's a really clever girl. We've always said this. Part of the problem with Jordan is convincing her. But I think she's actually beginning to realise now that she is a really clever girl. And if she works hard, she's going to do well. OK? Have you found the same kind of differences as we have, that she's getting on with people better? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. She's like friends now. She goes to the disc schools and the wee clubs that she never used to do. Because right, she used to get put out of these, mm -hmm. didn't she? So but I, every club she went, she got put out. Oh, she had me in some state at one time. So I feel I don't know if the start of this for Jordan has been... I mean, her dad separated. I don't know if that's when it was the same thing, maybe, because mm -hmm. she was a daddy's girl. Mm -hmm. So she was. Mm -hmm. And you're saying that's a kind of age, kind of thing, because she was what, four. Mm -hmm. When it all happened. Because she had a lot of trouble with neighbours, didn't you, uh -huh. for a while? <coughs> Definitely. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. The house insured, I was that's getting right. an asbone and everything for them. That was really difficult. People would just walk by, she's swearing at them, calling them names and. But you said there that you find that stopped now. That's definitely okay. stopped. Do you think that's the same with Lassa? Really? But other people trust her now. So it's made a big difference to you then? Definitely, uh-huh. Oh, come on. Come me down. Oh, I'm so glad. That's <laughs> great. Well, you've made my day. <laughs> I think we have to make parents realise that 
what their children bring to school, however little they think they may have taught them, whether it's in terms of behaviour or academically, is really, really important because that's their starting point. And the more input they have and the more parents make help their children to realise how important that education is, the better it is for the child. Book it there. That's ICT. This is the instrument place where you do your instruments. That's P2. This is the gym hall where we do basketball and that. I'll show you a shot. This is how I can play basketball. I'm good at basketball. Feels like furry and bendy. It's a bit jaggy there. That one feels furry too. That one feels rubber. And that one feels like fur. Well, just like stuff. And this feels like a hard sponge. And that's like a scratchy noise. It's good. And that's a crunchy open. This is the stuff. We're gonna do. Oh my god. I don't know what to do. I like shaking these. Ah. It's nice in here. I like lights, I like these things. There's books to read if you're upset, it helps you. Those teddies, if you're frightened, and you can hold them. I like its skin. It feels cool. I don't, I don't really go in here anymore because I'm good now. Oh, and see, see, see. I need to go to swimming today. It's after after the uh, lunch time. Okay. And the bells went already. So we need to hurry up and go, get going.
think for Jason's self-esteem to be part of the class, to socialise with the children, to be accepted is a great thing for him and he's maybe not had that much in his life up till now and the fact that he can interact with the other children in a more positive way now rather than an aggressive way um, is absolutely fantastic. Today was a big, big deal because you were going swimming for the first time. And, yep, I thought you'll do well. But I got a report that you were absolutely fabulous at swimming. Well, we've got a certificate for you to say that you were excellent at swimming today. I'm really proud of you. Give me five. Well done. Well done, Jason. And we'll go to the treasure box. Come on, we'll go along to the treasure box. Get a lamb to put it for you, Jason. Yeah, it's all laminated. Mum will go to the treasure box. Your mum's got your certificate and your bag. Can you put that in your bag? Can you put that Well, mum said she never get in when she was at school. I'll have to get one for mum. We'll get one for mum, yeah. I'm going to make her one. We will. We'll make her one. Now, here's what we're going to look at. You ready? The following. This is an old box that we have yeah. with faces on it. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Are we going to look at it? And I'm going to show you a face and you can see if you can tell me how the face is feeling. Are you ready? Jamie, we'll start with you. Right, look at this angry face. Everybody make an angry face back at it. Show me those brows down. Oh, Jamie, that's a great angry <laughs> face. Well done. He's doing well. And the biggest target he has is we are going away as a school, on a school trip, and that he really wants to come. But he has to show us, first of all, that we can trust him when he's there, that he can interact positively with other people. And if he shows us all of that, he'll be coming on the school trip. How do you know it's a sad face, James? There's a big tear. And look at the shape of the mouth. <laughs> oh, James Trotter, what a sad face. Maybe he's just feeling a bit puzzled and confused. Show me a worried face. Let me see you being worried. Not very sure what to do. It could be surprise. And sometimes when people are surprised, they do that. Well done, Jamie. Sometimes they go like this. If I give you one of these, you can put one of these on your chart yeah. as well. Oh, but I need good listening right now. I might change my mind. <laughs> James Trotter, thank you for good listening. And could you give Jamie a good listening sticker? You've done so well. I am so proud of you.
this. Okay. What is that? Let me see. Good. What does this say? Say how you did. Yeah? Good. Stop. Okay. You do it. Take a new line when you need to. Jump up and down and celebrate. No, that was good sound it out for you. That's it, excellent. Now look at that big pile. You hold over that. That's the big pile that you got right. We've only got a couple more. Okay, see how good you are at it. Superb. I don't know if you remember, um, there was a day that you came to pick Jason up and Jason had had a certificate. Was it really? I know, but you said something that really hit home to Mrs Pearson and I, and you said I never get them when I was at school. No, I didn't. But one of the things, and I, I was at a meeting um, very uh -huh. recently discussing Jason, and one of the things that I brought up was how, was, was how supportive You've been oh, since Jason came to Wales Shot. Yes, that you've um, he's been here on time every single day, mm -hmm. and you've never once been late. You've oh. always been here on oh, time. Why, definitely. And when we told you to encourage him, you took that on board, oh, and why? you've been congratulating. So we reckon that you deserved a certificate from us. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got you a wee certificate. That I hope you'll treasure. I will do. That says <laughs> present. <laughs> Presented to Sandra for being on time every day. Well done. Thank you. No, thank you. Thank you. Okay. That's your bad. Okay. So I hope you put that up in your fridge or something. <laughs> okay. No, but you deserve Thank God it. Thank you for getting me cold. I'm not Okay. What? Is that good? Right. That's because your mum's always here in time, son, and she comes for you in mm -hmm. time without being nice if your mum does. I need the toilet. Is that how good it is? Do you want to congratulate your mum? Mm -hmm. Say, well done, mum. Give me that wee hug. Good boy. Wait, and I've never had it in my life. Recently, I noticed an advert in one of the newspapers and it was an advert for specifically a girls football team. We have to pick her up at nine in the morning and we'll see how things go. Go Jordan, come on, move yourself lazy bones. doing well. Okay, you just keep it going. I think the boys are getting a bit frustrated. I think they thought they were going to absolutely squish it, didn't they? Right. You got front, first of all, and you got front. Two, you got front. Come on! <laughs> Ten minutes, come on. Come on, move, move. See that goal? Took it, who scored that? Brilliant, brilliant, took it well. Took it really, really well. Big smile, you ready? One, two, three.
very proud of Jason's achievements so far. And I'm going to cry. I'll just stop a minute. <laughs> Sorry. You shouldn't have asked me that question. <laughs> See, teachers do have feelings, you know. I was extremely proud when I saw Jason standing on the stage singing with his classmates, interacting positively with them, joining in in all the actions and really loving every second of it and just being a true member of the class. I used to be bad in school and fighting, um, always arguing, always going bad moods for no reasons and all that. But now I'm um, good and I'm more helpful and kind and means that people like me more. No think I'm just I'm gonna hit them all the time. I used to take my tablets before I went to school, so it calms me down. But I don't take them anymore. I think it's actually really, really fun, and I'm getting smarter and smarter by by the minute. We back. I wouldn't be like us. It's just a miracle. Well, it's parents' night tonight and I hope that I get a good report because I think um, I'm trying my best and hopefully it'll be good enough. Can we talk about football? God. I was thinking of being a... Um, a mechanic or a football player. I just don't know what I'm going to be when I'm older. I like the toast, it's nice.